Hello everyone. Good morning. First of all, a warm welcome to OSC training by Unogates. In this video, we will look at how to use a switch action in Oracle Integration Cloud. Switch is typically used whenever you want to have multiple routings or multiple branches in your integration. So we'll understand how to use switch uh, with the help of a use case. So we'll build a simple REST API, which will receive two numbers as input, number one and number two. And along with those numbers, we will also receive operation as an input. And to keep it simple, we'll uh, receive operations like add, subtract, etc. And within the API, we will use a switch operator to look at the operation that user is passing in. And, uh, and it, the, uh, the API will have multiple branches within it based on the operation. Again, the request gets directed to the appropriate branch. So in case the client sends an operation as add, uh, the switch operator sends it to add branch. And in that add branch, we will add, add up the numbers that was sent as input and we will send back the result. If subtract is passed as an input, we will send the integration to, to a different path, maybe a subtract path that you have configured with switch. We will subtract number two from number one and we'll send the result back. So the idea here is to explain how to use a switch in OIC. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get started. I logged into OIC instance, and as always, we need to first create a trigger connection required for this uh, REST API. Go to create, create connections. And since it's REST API, I need to use REST adapter. Use switch trigger connection. Leave it as trigger because I just want to use this to trigger the integration I'm going to build. Change the security security policy to basic authentication. Test and save the connection. It's in configured state. We can go ahead and use this connection now. Go to integrations, create a REST API, use app driven orchestration style. Put it in you know, Geeks package and create. Change the layout to horizontal. You can stick to a vertical if you prefer. And let's configure the trigger connection first and use the trigger connection that you created. I'll just say receive members. To perform operation and we will yeah this what will this endpoint this operation do this operation receives uh, two numbers performs an operation maybe add subtract etc and sends a result back as a response. And in the relative resource URL, let's configure three properties. Number one, three URI uh, parameters. Number two, uh, let's configure one more parameter to receive the operation. Okay, the end point is uh, the action that we need to use is get, stick to it, and enable this checkbox, which will configure the endpoint to receive the response because we want to receive the response as well. Click on next. In the request parameters, 
screen, you see, you see all three template parameters are created, whatever you mentioned in the, uh, in the flower brackets in resource URL, they will be created as template parameters by default. Change these to, change the data type of the parameters if you want, or you can, uh, that's okay, you can leave it as string as well. Absolutely no problem. Click on next. And the response payload format, change it to JSON sample. Click on enter sample inline. Define one attribute in the, uh, in the response, call it as result and maybe assign some number. This is just a sample payload. Uh, from this, OAC understands that yes, we want to send back uh, a result a result in the response. That's all it, uh, it I mean, the, 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 that's a message that OAC takes from this sample payload. It's not that a caller is going to get back one. Click OK. You can review the summary if you want, but that's OK. And we've got, uh, we've received two numbers or we'll receive two numbers and an operation here. And based on the operation we receive, we want to perform appropriate mathematical operation on those numbers and send that rest, uh, send, send the result back as a response. So if we get add, we need to add up the numbers. If we get subtract, we need to subtract the numbers one from each other. Okay, so to do that, which means this in the same integration, I need to have multiple routings. I need to have multiple branches. So in such case, wherever you need, wherever you have a requirement wherein you need to have multiple branches like this in your integration, you can use switch operator to achieve that, switch action to achieve that. So you see uh, the moment I dropped in switch, you see two branches created. Uh, and on one of the branch, you need to mention a condition. The other one will be otherwise. So if this condition is not satisfied, integration will go into otherwise branch by default. And by default, only one condition gets added or branch gets added, conditional branch. You can add in additional conditional branches if you want by clicking on the plus icon here. So say for example, I want to I've selected the first condition and I will call this as add and I'll select the operation and I will see if this is equal to add. If you have received operand as add or operation as add, close it. So that's an add operation. You see warning because we don't have any action inside that. And what action do we need to perform inside that? Let's also define a variable, result variable, and we will assign value to that result variable in these individual branch, branches. And we will assign that, assign that uh, or in this mapper, we will assign that result variable to the response. Okay, so let's go ahead and define a number. use assign operator to create a variable. Create result variable. And assign a value of zero. And in the add branch, you use a uh, assign operator. And call this as assign sum to a result variable. So what we do is we will add up the numbers that we have received as input and we will assign the sum to result variable. Okay, and it gets a little tricky here. You won't be able to find a, a variable that you have defined earlier by default. Just click on the plus icon and click on the drop down. Then you get to see the variable that you have defined, a result variable. 
and you can add an expression here and I want to assign the sum of number one and number two because remember we are in add branch now and I want to assign some of these two numbers and assign the result to result variable. Validate and close. And we can add another branch if you want. Click on the plus icon, add another branch and let's call it a subtract. And let's check if the operation that we have received is equal to subtract or not. And the integration will go into this add path. If the operation received is add, it will go into this path if it is subtract. And if you send in something else uh, apart from add or subtract, then it will go into otherwise branch. So that's how that's how the switch operator works. So click on the plus icon and what, what do we want to do? We want to uh, calculate the difference between number one and number two. And we need to assign that to a result variable. So I will call it as assign difference to a result variable. Again, click on the plus icon to see the variable. Click on the drop down and do the operation. It's number one. space minus space number two validate and close so if client sends in a subtract as an operation along with two numbers we will calculate the difference between number one and number two and we are assigning that to a result variable here and the switch operation ensures that uh, integration goes into this branch not the add in case the operation is faster subtract you can define as many branches as you want, like uh, like these two. And in the other otherwise clause, I'll just say, uh, I'll put an error message. So I'll just say, please enter a valid operation. Since this variable is of type string, I will assign a string message, I'll just say, Please enter a valid operation. I just want to show you when it goes into the otherwise clause. Validate and close. And what do we need to do? Uh, we are we are calif so we are receiving two numbers here and an operation. We have defined a variable, and with the help of switch operator we are deciding which branch the integration should take based on the operation. So if you receive add as an input, add as an operation input, uh, if you go into this branch, we are calculating the sum of two numbers and assigning to result variable. And the same logic applies in the subtract branch as well. It's just that we are calculating the difference. And if it is not, if the operation is passed, uh, operation that is passed is not add or subtract, then it will go into the otherwise branch. And here we are assigning a message saying that, a valid operation was not selected. And here we, we are uh, sending back a response and that response has a result, a result element. And what we need to do here is we need to assign this result variable to the result attribute so that it goes out uh, to the client as a response. So edit the mapper. And a result goes out to the client and I want to assign whatever value is there in the result variable, I want to assign it to the result, result attribute so that a client gets the final result. Apply and close. Let's go ahead and save it. Enable tracking. We can select all the three inputs as a tracking identifiers. Let's go ahead and activate the service and test it.
enable trace and include payload activate should be activated soon yeah the api is active now let's go ahead and test it you can test the rest apis directly from oic and i'll pass in number one as two and number two as three and i'll pass in the operation as add add and let me test so i get back the result as five so it's working as expected and let's let me pass in a subtract and let me say four and let me send in the second number as two one so four minus one and if you if you go into this instance id before i send off a subtract request i just want to show you the the green color highlighting so so the green color indicates which branch the integration has taken so since we have passed in operation as add so at this point it, this condition uh, in the switch operator this condition is uh, this branch or the condition you had on this branch is satisfied so it executed the first branch which satisfies the condition and then it exited the switch to or, or a switch uh, uh, action okay so uh, the way switch works is it executes uh, the first condition or a first branch whose condition is successfully met Okay, so if you pass and subtract, it looks at this condition. It doesn't match because operation is not equal to subtract. And he uh, here it checks, verifies that the operation compares it with subtract. It matches here, so it has assigns the difference to the result variable, and it comes out. So switch tries to evaluate the condition on all the branches in sequence, and the moment it finds a match, it will execute that particular branch and comes out of the comes out of the branch comes out of the a switch loop. Okay. Let's go ahead and send in one more request. Or rather, we'll, we'll send in two requests. Subtract. And I want to subtract a four from one. The result is three. It's working as expected. And again, if you go into this, uh, this instance, you will notice that integration would have taken the subtract branch. Or subtract route right so let's pass in something else say let's let's pass in multiply and the integration should take this path because we we don't have a branch with uh, for operation equal to multiply so if you go into otherwise clause and you get an uh, you get an error message which says sir please enter a valid operation you could have a better descriptive message here if you want and if you go into instance id look at the trace and you notice that integration has taken otherwise branch now so this is how you can use a switch operation within oic and you will typically use this whenever you need to have a multiple branches or multiple routings like this in any integration flow okay thank you very much for watching this video guys in case you are interested in oracle integration cloud training offered by unogeeks uh, please call us on this number or send a whatsapp message or you can also drop us a note on this mail id and you can visit our, our website to to check out the Oracle Integration Cloud course content. Thank you.